and start carrying the knife, the clock begins to tick. At the end of the day, it doesn't solve anything. If you stab somebody, then you're going to get charged with assault, serious assault, culpable homicide or murder if there's a death, and the consequences then will be even more severe. Carrying a knife doesn't solve anything. It only makes matters worse. As a young boy, growing up in Fergusley Park in Paisley, uh, knife crime was very common. I was 17 years of age. I'd been drinking for about um, four or five hours in a pub in Paisley. I was with two friends and I had a knife strapped to my leg. I'd been carrying the knife for about six months and I hadn't used it. I hadn't used it yet. I really believed as I carried my knife that I probably never would use it. And I took the knife out one night and I stabbed a guy almost to death. I stabbed him five times and I stabbed him all over his body and I nearly killed him. The Royal Alexandria Hospital was about two minutes in the ambulance and if I had stabbed him in another part of Paisley, I don't think they could have saved his life. Later on I went to prison for two years for doing that term. But what do you think? Here are some views from the public. A fear makes us do silly things. It makes me really cross when people say I took it because I felt unsafe. It just makes a bad situation worse. I think people who carry knives should be treated very harshly by the courts, always. So I just think it's really pathetic for people who carry knives in order to hurt someone. It does cut off a certain amount of the society, I think, because you think twice about going into underpasses or being on your phone outside. Knife crime doesn't just affect individuals, it affects the whole of society. There's a culture in Scotland, my predecessor described it as booze and blades. I think in Scotland you tend to find that where knives are used, not always, but quite often invariably, alcohol has been taken. They leave the house or leave wherever they've been with a knife or tooled up as we would say, without having had any alcohol or drugs. The perception of the public is that if somebody's using a knife, um, or involved in an assault where a knife's been used, that they are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. As Kelly said, I think if, if people are intentionally wanting to be armed or carry a weapon, they will do regardless if they're under the influence of alcohol. They're not just numbers. Knife crime affects real people. My younger brother Alec uh, was in a friend's house and he went down to the ice cream van to buy juice or whatever. And when he was down there, uh, two guys started a fight with him and they stabbed him and unfortunately for him, he was dead uh, within two or three minutes. You know, when you've got kids and you've got mums and you've got dads and you've got siblings, brothers and sisters, they're all dragged into this mess. He was only 29 years of age and he went down to the ice cream van to buy juice and he never came back. It was like my past coming back to haunt me. Carrying a knife can have serious consequences. Ultimately, we've also got to educate and change the culture because it does come back to machismo and alcohol. Think of life, put down the knife. 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 Think of life, put down the knife.